Hello students, welcome to Arise a Talent. So now we are going to discuss the important NTSC stage 1 questions of chapter Diversity in Living Organisms. So here we go. First of all, in binomial nomenclature, first word indicates when we studied the binomial nomenclature, we studied that an organism's uh, name is given by two words. It's uh, made up of two words. First one is what? That is genus and other word is species okay so here we are asked in binomial nomenclature first word indicates its genus of the organism okay so answer uh, option b is the correct answer next is well belongs to mammalia amphibia annelida raptilia as we all know about the properties of well then uh, it belongs to mammalia group because uh, it has features of that. Option A is the correct answer. Next, the group of plants that bears naked seed. When we studied the classification, we studied that uh, seeds are uh, general plants are categorized into two groups on the basis of seeds whether they are naked or they are uh, they are found inside the fruit so those are naked they are kept in the gymnosperm and the fruits uh, the plant in which seeds are uh, found inside the fruit they are angiosperm angiosperm Okay, so here we are asked that the group of plants that bears naked seeds means seeds are without fruits or seeds are without covering. So, they are gymnosperm. They are kept in the gymnosperm. So, option A is the correct answer. Naked seed means they do not have any covering. They do not uh, have any fruit around them. They do not have any covering. Which of the following have the nervous system is at a very primitive stage of our development? Amoeba, no. Hydra, yes. Earthworm, no. Paramecium, no. So, here the correct option is Hydra because it contains nervous system when in the primitive stage of development. Okay, when the Hydra starts developing, then it has nervous system in the primitive stage itself. Okay. So, option B is the correct answer. Next is, which of the following is correct set of examples of a particular group? Mushroom, yeast, rickshia are kept in the fungi. Mushroom is kept in the fungi, okay, but yeast and rickshia do not belong it. Starfish, catfish, dogfish are kept in Pisces, that is also wrong. Paramecium, euglena, uh, ovelia are kept in protista, that is wrong. Well, frog, bat are kept in craniata, that is correct. So, option D is the correct answer, correct set of the organisms which are kept in the particular group. Okay. So, option C, well, frog, bat that are kept in craniata group. Next is the carbohydrate present in the blood group. We all know that the carbohydrate which is present in the blood group is galactose. Okay, which carbohydrate is present in the blood group? That is galactose. So, option B is the correct answer. These are the very important questions of NTSC stage 1. So, pay sincere attention here. Next, which characters are present in vertebrates? Whether they are notochord, notochord is present, okay. Triploblastic, triploblastic means they have three germs layer in the uh, embryo, okay. Silomate, yes, Silo, uh, they are silomate and bilateral symmetry. So, yes, these features are uh, the correct characters which are found in the vertebrates. Their notochord is present, that's why they are kept in the vertebrate group. Okay, triploblastic means three germs layer are present in the embryo. They are silomatic and bilateral symmetry. They have bilateral symmetry. So, option A is the correct answer. These are the characteristics of group vertebrata. Next is 
regeneration is found in as we all know that nervous system is found in which uh, organism that is hydra so here regeneration is also found in which organism that is hydra only tap one do not have the process of regeneration they cannot regenerate leaves cannot regenerate ascaris cannot regenerate okay so the hydra is the only organism which has capacity to regenerate or regeneration okay so thus we can say regeneration is found in hydra next is binomial nomenclature was introduced by binomial nomenclature was what in which organism was uh, given a particular scientific name and it carries two words okay as we all have uh, two words in our name same as binomial nomenclature organisms has two words in the name and these are given by the scientist and which scientists gave this name it was carolus linnaeus okay so thus we can say binomial nomenclature was introduced by carolus linnaeus next is which one of the following class of animals has coelomic cavity filled with blood coelomic cavity is filled with blood only in the arthropoda group so if we talk about nematodes they do not have coelomic cavity filled with blood and lida also do not have orthopoda is the correct answer that the cavity coelomic cavity is filled with the blood only in the arthropods okay so option c is the correct answer that orthopoda have the cavity coelomic cavity that is filled with blood next is which two of the following animals belong to the same phylum starfish and nereis no antidan and starfish yes they can antidan and chitin no nereis and chitin no they do not belong from the same group so what is the correct option that is the antidan and starfish which belong from the same phylum of organisms okay option b is the correct answer which one of the following is having conductive tissue conductive tissues are found generally in the fern funaria do not have conductive tissue rickshia also do not have and marchantia also do not have the conductive tissue conductive tissue means xylem and phloem which helps to uh, transport the different organic and inorganic material so these are found only in the fern clear so option a is the correct answer next is which of the following two are only applicable for birds okay warm blooded and four chambered heart it can be uh, this feature can be found in other uh, groups also so it's not possible feathers and uh, breathing by lungs yes it can be warm blooded and egg laying these features can be found in other uh, groups also in other animals or organisms also egg laying and with feathers it can also be found in other so this is the only feature which can be found only in the birds what is that feathers and uh, breathing by lungs rest other features can be found in the other animals too so this is the only feature which is found uh, in the birds that is feather feather and breathing by lungs clear which of the following statement is true about dicotyledons dicotyledons means they have uh, two cotyledons in the seeds okay so their root system consists of similar fibrous root no generally in the dicotyledons they have tap root system okay next is their leaves have parallel vanishing no their vascular bundles are arranged in a ring what are the vascular bundles xylem and phloem so yes their vascular bundles are arranged in the ring so this is the correct option that in the dicotyledon plants the vascular bundles means xylem and phloem are arranged in the ring clear so this is the correct option their vascular bundles are arranged in a ring a plant has body differentiated into root stem and leaves okay 
it also has tissues for conduction of water and other substances means jhalam and phloem are present but has naked embryo under which type will such plants has been classified i told you that on the basis of seed means if the seed is covered or if the seed is not covered by the covering or a uh, seed is without any covering then on the basis of this feature the seeds are kept into two groups that is gymnosperm and angiosperm okay in these gymnosperm generally seeds are without covering means there are naked seeds clear so the seeds are not found inside the fruit so thus we can say the seeds do not have uh, outer covering or seeds are naked uh, means they has naked embryo okay so an uh, embryo is what seed only okay so this is found only in the gymnosperm clear next is choose the correct hierarchy in classification group when we studied the five kingdom classification okay according to this five kingdom classification organisms are capped into the five different uh, groups on the basis of their characteristics then what is the uh, uh, hierarchy of classification the hierarchy of classification was that the organisms which were classified into different groups they were classified from lowest to highest group okay or here the group uh, is given in from highest to lowest so uh, what was the classification like that first of all species lowest is species then species together form family then they form genus uh, sorry species together form genus then family then family same kind of families are kept in one order okay and same kind of orders are kept in the form a class and uh, similar types of classes form a phylum okay so hierarchy what will be phylum then class then order then family genus and species so what is the hierarchy here option a phylum class order family and species that means highest to lowest highest to lowest this is the highest group and species is the lowest group clear next is all the cats in the world belong to same species what are they generally we have studied this in the chapter also that all the cats are kept in the panthera tigris group okay so it is given in the book also so you can tick the answer that is panthera tigris panthera tigris means all the cats in the world belong to same species and that species is panthera tigris next dash is this animal lays eggs as reptile okay this is the one feature that it lay eggs as reptile but has mammary glands and hair on the skin this is the feature of mammals and this is the feature of what it lay eggs as reptile so reptile is already given here okay and another feature of mammalian group is there that it has mammary glands and hair on the screen so like a mammal so which organism which animal is here that is duckbill duckbill has the features of both reptiles and mammals like it lay eggs like reptiles but it has mammary glands and hair on the skin that is duckbill option a is the correct answer a fragment of dna that provides complete information about one protein is referred to as for we know that is gene because gene is the only uh, component is the only thing who contains the complete information about one protein that is gene clear 
So option D is the correct answer. This is what is gene. Gene is a fragment of DNA which contains a, a particular information about all the information about a particular protein, one protein. The endosperm of angiosperm is haploid, diploid, triploid or polyploid. So it is triploid. Clear? Option C. Next is match the following column 1 to column 2. So here we go. Collar cells, diploblast, closed circulatory system, water vascular system and here cylindrates, porifera, echinodermata, anelida. So what we have to find now? We have to find that these features are found in which animal. Okay, so collar cells, so as we all know, collar cells are found in porifera. Diploblast, so we all know cylindrates are diploblast. Closed circulatory system is found in anelida and water vascular system is found in echinodermata. Clear? Once again I am repeating, collar cells are found only in the porifera group. Diploblast, so we know cylindrates are diploblastic. Closed circulatory system is found in anelida and water vascular system is found in echinodermata. Now we have to choose the correct option. What answers we have match? 1 to A, 1 to A, no, 2 to B, no, 3 to C, no, 4 to D, no, 1 to A, again, no, 2 to B, no, 3 to C, it's repeated only, yes, C, 1 to B, 1 to B, yes, we got it, uh, 2 to A, yes, this is also the correct option, closed circulatory system means third to D, Yes, again correct match and water vascular system that is A. Uh, sorry, water vascular system that is echinodermata. Yes, so option C here is the correct match of the given options. Okay, so thus we can say option C is the correct match. Next is botanical name of Tulsi is yes, we all know that is Alcimum sanctum. Clear? Once again, botanical name of Tulsi is what? Alcimum sanctum. Option A. Next is the group of amphibian plant is Funaria, Marcantia, Marsilia, Hostel, Pinus, Cycus. Typha or Hydrilla, Hydrilla. So here we all know that amphibian plants, group of amphibian plants. So here only Funaria and Marcantia are amphibian plants. Okay, they can grow in water as well as on lands. Example of an egg-laying mammal is egg-laying mammal bat. No, it produces babies. Well, no. Echidna, yes, it can be in kangaroo also, no, because it keeps the baby in the pouch. So, option C, that is echidna. Option C is the correct answer that it lay eggs. It is a mammal and lay eggs. Clear? Preen gland is present in the body of pigeon, the body of prawn, the body of roe fish in cactus plants. So, as we all know that preen gland is present only in the body of pigeon. Option a is the correct answer. Next, botanical name of Amla is Osimum sanctum. No, here we have studied it is the name of Tulsi. Palanthus amblica. Yes, it is the botanical name of Amla. Clear? You can learn it that botanical name of Amla is Palanthus amblica. If a particular animal has shelled egg, what are the features? Shelled egg, hair and teeth on the body. Okay, these are the features clear. Has cloaca, then it may be connecting link between. It has different types of features. What? It has shelled egg. Okay, generally we know shelled eggs are found in the Raptalia group. Okay, it has hair. Hairs are present in the Mammalia, okay, it has teeth on the body and has cloaca. So, which 
this is the connecting link between what? Which groups? Reptilian aves? No. Uh, it does not have any feature of aves. It has features of reptilia but does not have feature of aves. Aves and mammals? Yes, it has feature of mammal but does not have any feature of aves. So, again wrong option. Reptilia and mammal? Yes, because it has features like reptilia and features like mammal. So, thus we can say this uh, organism has connective link between the reptilia and mammal. C is the correct option. Next is in national parks conservation is provided to we all know that national parks uh, provide the conservation to both plants and animals. So only plant species no only animal species no both plants and animals yes but it uh, provide complete ecosystem ok. So this is the D option is the most suitable answer of the given statement ok. Next is dissimilarity, uh, dissimilarity found in aves and mammal is. Now we have to choose the dissimilarity from the given options. Warm blooded animals, no, they both are warm blooded animals, they can change the body temperature. Uh, sorry, body temperature does not change according to the temperature of the environment or surroundings. They can lay eggs, aves and mammals can, uh, uh, can lay eggs, breathe through lungs. 4 chamber heart. So, they can breathe through lungs, aves also can breathe through lungs and they have 4 chamber. So, this is the, this, what is the dissimilarity? Mammals also can lay eggs? No. So, this is the correct option that is P. So, these were the important questions of anti-SC stage 1 from this chapter means diversity in living organisms. Thank you.